Hello and welcome to Inside the PGTI. And the bars are destination for this edition of the show. And from where we'll bring you the best action and drama from the 2017 Kensville Open held at the Kensville Golf and Country Club. Gujarat's capital, a city of 8 million or roughly 80 lakh people, has been rated in the press as the best city to live in in India. In July 2017, Old Ahmedabad was named India's first UNESCO World Heritage City. A major economic, commercial and industrial hub, the city now carries forward the legacy of some of the nation's founding fathers and Gujarati icons like Mahatma Gandhi and Sardar Patel. With a couple of days gap between the two PGTI events Ahmedabad was hosting in September 2017 some of the golfers took some time off to visit some of the nearby sights and sounds and this venue was among the most popular destinations for them the Narsarovar Bird Sanctuary it is the largest wetland bird sanctuary in the state of Gujarat and one of the largest in India so quite naturally it's been declared a Ramsar convention site and as a wetland of international Gotten's the only such to have received that prestigious honor in India and a historic development for the sanctuary. Speaking of history, that venue, the staging ground for the 2017 Kensville Open presented by the PGTI was used to making some every few years. The Kensville Golf and Country Club, located in an idyllic location about 40 kilometers from Ahmedabad, has traditionally been a dream destination for India's top golfers, and that's because it's surrounded by places of cultural, environmental, and historical significance. The course itself assumed some historical significance in 2011 when it hosted the Gujarat Kensville Challenge, that marked the first visit by the European Challenge Tour to India. that and some of the other big tournaments like the Mercedes Trophy, Audi Quattro Cup and BMW International Golf Cup have made Kensville famous not just among the nation's elite but among the best golfers in the entire Asian continent. Come to Ahmedabad always special because we got to know Ahmedabad because of Kensville actually we thanks to Kensville Golf Club to having you know earlier European Challenge to event and then you know supporting almost every year to having PGT event. So I think that's why we we being here to support them because you know Kingsville support so long for golf Indian tour and uh, the kind of this kind of golf courses golf course like great layout and the condition wise it's it's a good challenge to every players. The course itself was co-designed by Indian legend and one of the country's greatest golfers ever, Jeev Milkha Singh. Well, it's a good venue and uh, obviously it has the signature of uh, one of our Chandigarh stalwarts, Jeev. So just for that reason I think uh, Kensville will always be an important event for anyone from Chandigarh um because Jeev has his name associated with this uh, venue. Also I think being a Q school venue um it's 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 something you don't forget where you went to Q school and how you played. For the local golfers and budding youngsters coming into those Q school events itself is like a seamless transition. After all, where else would they get such a fantastic opportunity to hone their skills than at a championship standard venue like this one with its signature 7400 yard course which regularly hosts some of the world's best golfers. Oh, it's been a major part of our tour since uh, almost 7 years, 7 8 years now, you know, we've had a uh, European tour, uh, the mini tour of European tour here and uh, you know, we've had uh, past winners as Gaganjit Bhullar and Shiv Kapoor who have won those events. So Kensville has been a major part for the development of uh, especially PGTI and Indian golf and uh, we are just really lucky to be here. The course offers unique challenges to the players. In gameplay terms, two of the par 5s that play longer than 600 yards test their long hitting skills. But that's not all. The way the management went about finalizing the design, their aim was to test every single aspect including the short game. It's one of the most technical courses as far as a golfer is concerned. It gives you if you're if you're hitting your ball well, if you're placing your ball well, it's going to give you results. The moment you miss it, it penalizes you. So it's that kind of a course. It doesn't help your bad shots. The holes the professionals themselves enjoy the most though are the shorter par 3s. Some of them would rank among the most beautiful in the world with the others testing overall strategy and skills. I think the 5th hole par 3 is a really beautiful hole and uh, toughness wise I would say the 17th hole which is playing as a par 5 in headwind this week that's going to be a tough hole. I think the par 3s are quite uh, quite challenging. Tactically they're a little difficult but um, 
Otherwise, I think the front nine is a little tougher. I think the first uh, five, six holes, if you can get through them, um, I think you'd be primed for a better score. So I think uh, you've got to bear down from the beginning. So Kensville was a fitting staging ground for an important tournament on the professional golf tour of India's calendar. The Kensville Open would be the second of back-to-back -back events in Ahmedabad with just a couple of days between it and the Take Classic that had concluded at the Kalhar Blues and Greens, a course that offered a completely different challenge and made the golfers alter their plans. It is quite a lot because the courses are very different. Um, Kalhar has a lot of water in play, um, you know, you have to be quite conservative off the tee. Um, here there's a little bit more room to work with, so um, you'll have, and of course it's shorter as well, so you have many more short irons in, but uh, of course the greens are quite hard, so you have to take that into consideration. It would also be an important tournament in the second half of the season, with the order of merit stakes starting to get too close to call. The 40 lakh rupee prize uh, money tournament, uh, always uh, the players are at their best, sharp best, because uh, there's a lot at stake in terms of uh, the, the points and the rankings and stuff. Other than that, I think uh, Kenzul is a course which uh, I think either brings out the best or the worst in you. So I think uh, that, that bit of anxiety is always there in the players and that's what I've always felt. While some of that anxiety was evident for a bunch of golfers on the first morning, some of the others, both the seasoned pros and the youngsters looking to come into the limelight, were positively upbeat and raring to go as the Kensville Open got underway with a bang. One of the names turning heads on day one with a phenomenally strong performance was Nagpur's Moinuddin Malak. Teeing off on the 10th, he made birdies on his first two holes and then built on that dream start to turn in a card of four under for the day. Returning from a back injury that had kept him out of action for six months, Malak certainly made everyone sit up and take notice of him again. Well, before the injury as well, I was uh, struggling quite a bit, probably because of my back and uh, the equipment that I was playing. Then uh, I needed this break, but I just uh, didn't have the time to take the break. But then this was sort of like a godsend uh, sabbatical from golf as you could say, because I was out for almost six months. Kolkata's Shankar Das, a former Order of Merit winner, produced an eagle and five birdies against three bogeys during his opening round, using his prior experience of playing there to match Malak's score. The main thing is the dive and the short game. The one who does good will win the match. Dive, maximum dive. क्योंकि लॉन्ग भी चाहिए और स्टेडी भी चाहिए और राइट लेफ्ट हो रहे तो मट्टी लग रहे बॉल पे तो बहुत टाफ है पार पिलाने के लिए। Also returning a card of four under to be tied for second after round one was Delhi's Hani Besoya. He was four under through 17 holes and only a lip out on a 10 foot birdie putt on the last denied him the chance to move to the top. इस परफॉर्मेंस को मैं काफी हाई रेट करता हूँ बिकॉज़ कल हार में मैं अच्छा भी नहीं खेल पर लास्ट राउंड खराब होने की वजह से मेरी थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस मेरा डाउन था और यहाँ पे चार अंडर का स्कोर मारने के बाद मेरा कॉन्फिडेंस फिर से बिल्ड हो गया। Leading the pack after the opening round would be Samarth Dwivedi of Allahabad. In just his second season as a full professional, the 25-year-old knocked in six birdies that went with a solitary bogey, proudly displaying a card of five under that helped him zoom to the top. I turned professional like a year and a half ago. Since then, I've led once. You know, I've been tied with uh, Honey and. I think both of us didn't finish that well at that, that event. So I think, you know, it's good. It takes a lot of the pressure off to get off to a good start, get out of the blocks, you know. You can sort of, like, not think about the cut line when you're playing the second day and just try to go deeper. So this is how it stood after the opening exchanges. Noida golfers Amardeep Singh Malik and Arjun Singh Chaudhary were tied for fifth at 3 under 69. Bengaluru's Khalin Joshi was tied seventh at 2 under 70. And PGTI Order of Merit leader Shamim Khan of Delhi occupied the tied 19th place, having finished on even par 72. On that note, it's time for us to take our first break here on the show. But do stay tuned. When we come back, we'll tell you about two young local stars who took the Kensville Open by storm, showcasing their serious credentials for the Best Amateur Award.
Welcome back to Inside the PGTI. There was much at stake before round 2 of the 2017 Kensville Open being staged at Ahmedabad's Kensville Golf and Country Club. While some of the golfers were looking to press ahead with their charge and keep their title challenge strong, others were desperate to avoid the cut and make it through to the all important money rounds. Amardeep Singh Malik picked up from where he had left off in the opening round and then some. The man from Noida followed up his first round 69 with a 5 under 67. It would be an error free round for Amardeep who showed no lingering signs of the little finger injury on his right hand which had even made him withdraw from the Asian Tours qualifying school in January 2017. I just managed the golf course really well today. You know, uh, all my birdies were pretty much within 4 5 feet and uh, A lot of places I couldn't hit it at the flag, so you know I had to make tough two putts. All in all, it was a wonderful uh, day, and I think the highlight was that I managed the golf course really well today. Another player looking to land a title after quite a few years was Himmat Singh Rai, who likewise surged up the leaderboard on the second day. Himmat, the man from Delhi, moved up from overnight 12th to tied third after matching Amardeep's round of 67. Overall, I kept the ball in play and gave myself a lot of birdie opportunities. so that's what it was all about i think hitting fairways hitting greens and then giving myself enough opportunities to you know convert yeah. and yeah i kept the ball so to be honest just going all according to game plan today joining him at in tied third at a total of 6 under 138 was shankar das the kolkata man's score wasn't as impressive as his first round effort but it kept him well in the hunt He was among the many who struggled with a later afternoon tee off in round two, having started early in the morning on day one. In the morning, me actually green pe ball bad rahe the. First baat hai, second baat hai, wo green jo cutting hai, wo ek ek level ka tha. Aur abhi jo khel rahe, wo log spec mark ho rahe, thoda idhar udhar ball ye kar rahe, bahut tough hai. Main afternoon me very tough. Overnight leader Samarth Dwivedi continued his good form as well though he dropped to second after a round of 2 under 70 on day 2. The day's biggest gainer though was Gaurav Pratap Singh. The Noida based golfer zoomed up from overnight tied 29th to tied 5th courtesy of his 6 under 66, the best round of the day. Some of the fancied names fell by the wayside when the cut was applied at 5 over 149. Two of the local amateurs made it to the money rounds, much to the delight of the local faithful. Childhood friends Varun Parekh and Amshul Patel had uncannily similar totals of 4 over 148 after round two, sharing not just their place on the leaderboard but also quite literally their moment in the sun as they continued their remarkable journey together. Me and Amshul have been friends for I think now seven years. We've been playing golf in seven years together. We've been on the tour together for like now two, three years. Because he's, I think, three years older to me, so he's always on the amateur tour. I was on the junior tour, but in Ahmedabad, we were always together, playing together, practicing together. So it's been good, good fun with him. I mean, uh, he's just been awesome. He's, he's a good, good friend and uh, very supportive, very supportive, very, uh, very competitive. I would say. Having had to pitch their case strongly for inclusion in the prestigious 2017 Kensville Open, the young Tyros were delighted to have achieved their main aim of playing all four days. I was very excited to get into this week. Um, I was looking forward to play a play here at Kensville because it's a tight track. Uh, I was preparing myself uh, from last two weeks, and I'm very happy to make the cut this week because it's a big, uh, big uh, boost for me. And. Uh, Definitely, I would, I would, you know, uh, try and play more PGTI uh, tournaments this year. As of now, this is the first tour tournament I've made my cut, so pretty happy about that. Um, didn't play that well through the through the week, but uh, hopefully I'll get the uh, work done tomorrow, and hopefully I'll give uh, some run for the money for to Varun for the amateur trophy. But uh, otherwise, he played uh, really good golf. Apart from their scores, the two would reveal what else they had in common that day. Their role models and how they took to the game. Grandmom and granddad, my mom's uncle aunt put me into golf and that's where I put uh, got the sport. I picked up the sport. I love the 
way everyone used to swing the club i used to see the i used to love the ball flight of uh i used to love the ball flight and uh, basically i fell into the uh, fell for the game at the age of 9 or 10 but i i was in us that time so that time only i played for me uh, local role models are uh, chikka uh, udyan mane uh, Mithun, a lot of pros, a lot of pros I look up to, and international I love Phil Mickelson because he's a lefty. I'm also a lefty, so always been a Phil Mickelson fan. Uh, then Tiger Woods, no one can hate Tiger Woods, and right now I like Jordan Spieth. So, like some of their opponents there, the remaining 61 other golfers in the fray, that is Varun and Anshul too, geared up for the crucial penultimate round with hopes riding high in fine weather. Round 3 saw the title run narrowing down to a two horse race. Amardeep Singh Malik continued his good run at the Kensville Golf and Country Club as he looked to keep strong his hopes of landing a first PGTI title since 2014. I'm definitely excited. I won't say there are nerves yet. I think uh, if the nerves do creep in they're going to creep in tomorrow on the last couple of holes. And uh, I'm just excited to play tomorrow in a in a leader group with the possibility of winning. Three years earlier, it had been a hairy run to the finishing line for the 32-year-old, who led the field for the most part of the day there at Kensville before bogeying the 13th and then making pars on the final few holes. It left him a bit unsatisfied, as he had hoped to run clear and make a smoother title charge than he had done three years earlier. I wouldn't like to repeat what I did last time when I won. I I, I was well into winning and I just dropped silly shots in the end and I won in the playoff. So I took no lessons from that, but. I just hope to uh, continue with the momentum you know continue with my game plan I have a very solid game plan this week which I'm really trying to focus and play with So as Amardeep slipped up Shankar Das seized the opportunity to overtake him on the leaderboard the experienced hand had come into the day trailing Amardeep by a couple of strokes but he was beginning to peak at the right time shooting the day's best round a 6 under 66 Shankar showed that the virtues of having a complete game could trump his younger compatriot's strengths of longer hitting एक्चुअली लॉन्ग हिटर जो लोग है वो लोग को लॉन्ग हिटर होने से होगा नहीं स्टेट मैंने आपको फेवर भी रखना पड़ेगा ये नहीं जो लॉन्ग हिटर वो लॉन्ग मार रहे इसलिए जीत जाएगा ऐसा बात नहीं है पर शॉर्ट गेम जिसका है वो हंड्रेड परसेंट मैच जीतेगा जिसका शॉर्ट गेम है और लॉन्ग भी मार रहा है स्टेडी के साथ वही मैच जीतेगा और फोर राउंड माने फाइव राउंड जिसका माने शरीर बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग है माइंड ही स्ट्रॉन्ग है वही जीतेगा मैच Meanwhile as he had done in the recently concluded event at Kalhar Chandigarh's Ajitesh Sandhu had quietly snuck up the leaderboard he was placed a position and a stroke behind Himmat Singh Rai who came back into title contention with a strong back nine where he scored three birdies on the last five holes Time then for one final break here on the show but do stay tuned when we come back we'll tell you who went on to capture the holy grail as history was made at one of india's most iconic venues following an absolutely riveting climax Welcome back. One of the standout performers at the 2017 Kensville Open being played at the Kensville Golf and Country Club was that man, Samarth Dwivedi, who missed the best part of 2016 with a wrist ligament tear, had recovered well enough to lead in round 1 and keep pace with the leaders thereafter. I'm just glad, you know, to be completely honest, I think the first time I played here wasn't a great experience for me. So I I came here with not too high expectations. But then I found myself after the first day, you know, having performed pretty well. So obviously, you know, that filled expectations and then you just I'm I'm just glad that you know I'm being able to strike the ball the way I did when I was playing the best golf so far of my life, which was my last year of amateur golf. So, just now it's just about holding the putts, you know, and 
I'm just, I'm, I'm very happy with myself that, you know, this is my first time playing a leader group. Samarth was introduced to golf by his sports buff dad, who was also his first coach at the age of just five. His Allahabad-based family would later move to Singapore, which is his current base, and that meant Samarth would have to travel often and thus adapt frequently. In the beginning, it was tough. You know, uh, coming to India, like, the culture is completely different from anywhere else, obviously. So, in the beginning 2012, as an amateur, it was tough. My parents were worried about how am I going to handle myself here. But now, it, you know, it just wor works out pretty well, actually, because we only get about three months off in a year. Three, three and a half months off, which is the off-season. So, for that, I, you know, I go back to Singapore and spend time with my family. In a sport that requires the participants to adapt and change constantly according to the layout, conditions and weather, shuttling to and from Singapore was in fact the easier part for summer. His malleability and willingness to learn soon brought him success from a very young age. I first came to India in 2012 to play amateur golf and my very first qualifier I won it and then that was followed by I think the second or third event I played I won that as an amateur. So it, was, it really just set, set up my amateur career very well and I was in the national squad from my first year of participating and got to play a lot of events representing the country. I think you know that's, that's just a great feeling you know, to wear your colours and, and play. The feeling he was looking for before round four though was the winning one. Samarth would begin the decisive bend in fifth place, five shots behind the leader but with the belief that he could still pull off a title triumph. Unfortunately for 25-year-old Samarth, who was in just his second season as a professional, that was not to be. He produced his worst round of the tournament, a 5-over par 77 at the most crucial juncture. It would thus be an anticlimactic finish for him as he bowed out finishing on tied 11th overall. In complete contrast, the country's highest all-time PGTI earner and Order of Merit legend Shamim Khan was upwardly mobile. The Delhi-based pro would shoot a second consecutive round of 4 under 68 to finish the tournament in tight third. Matching his performance there was Ajitesh Sandhu, who had already tasted victory earlier in 2017 but fell short for the second tournament running, having to be content with a tight third finish here alongside Shamim after a final round card of 1 under 71. Overnight leader Shankar Das knew well begun would be half done. Three birdies that went with just the lone bogey on the front nine put immense pressure on his nearest title challenger Amardeep Singh Malik. Just a front line pe humne ek lumber pe aaj shayad start bhi kiya. Second shot right edge pe mara. Udhar se cheap dal diya birdie. To Amardeep udhar se bogey mara. To wahan pe ham usko do shot pakad liye. To wahan se humko laga chalo abhi par. Daylight was put between Shankar and Amardeep soon enough when Malik there managed only one birdie on the front nine after having begun the day quite ominously badly with a bogey on the first. I did exactly the same things I've been doing for the first uh, three, three days. I mean, I hit it really close. I had five birdie opportunities in the front nine which were within six feet and none of them went in. So, I won't say it was bad putting because I did the same thing, they just won't go in, you know. I had three lip outs and uh, a, a misread. So, I three putted on the ninth from centre green for birdie. So, yeah, I mean, these things tend to happen. You just have to take them with your stride. With time running out, Amardeep would throw caution to the wind on the back nine, where he rallied superbly with a couple of birdies. Absolutely, I mean, I was three shots behind with uh, three holes to go. I had to take a few risks. Um, on the 16th, my birdie was one roll short and um, I was still three shots behind and I had to, uh, you know, put up the pressure on, uh, on the leader and that's why I went for the green on 17 because I had two brilliant shots and my chip lipped out for eagle. Had that gone in, you know, the situation could have been different. So in the end, with the gap now a couple of strokes, it all came down to this. Amardeep knew he had to nail this chip on the final 18th hole in order to force a playoff. I mean, I visualized it really well. I mean, uh, you know, these, this golf course, you really don't know how the ball's going to react. So it's all down to visualization. And, you know, I, I saw it go in. I mean, I had it in my mind. I knew exactly the spot I had to drop it at. I did all of that, but it just didn't go in. So I was sad and happy. Sad that it didn't go in, but happy that I was able to pull off that golf shot. Actually, as the ball position was, we knew that the body chance was very low. 
तो हम ये सोच के हम लेप खड़ा होकर बांक बांक का लाइन लेके हम एच पे रखने गए और बांक का चला गया तो वहाँ से चिपट चांस नहीं हुआ अगर थोड़ा खराब मारा पर हम जानते हैं बॉगी भी मारेगा हम जीतेगा a bogey it would be but it proved enough for shankar with bad luck denying amardeep his first tournament win in 3 years the former order of merit winner completed the formalities easily claiming his first title in almost 2 years pichli baar mein actually jaisa humne khela dive itna acha nahi laga to dive bahut kharab maar rahe the isliye mind thoda off chal rahe the to is saal hum bahut practice kiya bahut practice kiya maine throw dive पार्डिंग एक दो घंटा खाली पार्डिंग करता था ऐसे करते करते बहुत अच्छा इधर चिपिंग पार्डिंग ड्राइव माने इतना अच्छा बॉल मारा हम आगे बहुत अच्छा खेल सकते हैं दिल्ली बेस्ड हिम्मत सिंह राय टुक फिफ्थ प्लेस इन द फाइनल पैकिंग ऑर्डर जमशेदपुर करण टोंग इंसिडेंटली हैड प्रोड्यूस द बेस्ट राउंड ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट इन राउंड 4 अ 7 अंडर 65 दैट हेल्प्ड हिम फिनिश टाइड 22 While he was denied the ultimate crowning glory, Amardeep was still mighty pleased with his performance, which earned him four lakh rupees. Shankar would go on to claim his prize of six lakhs, which took him rapidly up from tenth to seventh on the PGTI's order of merit. Courtesy of his strong finishing round, Shamim continued to lead the calendar's money list. Chandigarh lad Ajitesh meanwhile moved up from third to second. Udayan Mane, the winner of the previous week's event, which was also in Ahmedabad, breathing down their neck there. And that's all we have for you on this edition of Inside the PGTI. This is where we bid goodbye, leaving you with these enduring images of Shankar Das celebrating his famous victory.